What's up guys, Brett here with the droiddemos.com. Got the LG Nexus 4 here. Gonna root this phone. Should only take you a few minutes to do, so not that hard. Uh, pretty simple method. Just follow along and uh, we'll get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your phone is unplugged um, from your computer. And let's go ahead and go into settings. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on USB debugging. So scroll all the way down, go to about phone, Go down here to the build number and tap on this. Now it says you are now a developer. We can go ahead and go back. And we now have developer options enabled right here. Go ahead and tap that. We're going to turn on USB debugging list right here. Just go ahead and check that. Hit OK. And then we're going to go back. Go to About Phone. And look at Android version right here. So as you see, I'm on 4.2. That's what it shipped with. Uh, but if you've up, uh, updated yours, it may be on something else. Just note what it's on. We're going to need this, uh, need to know this for the method. Uh, so we can go ahead and go back to the computer, and in the browser, we're going to go to um, wugfresh.com slash nrt. Uh, Wugfresh is the guy that has created this application for us. Awesome job. Uh, thanks a lot to everyone, that el everyone else that's contributed to making this work. Um, but yeah, uh, Wugfresh has made an awesome application for all the Nexus devices. So definitely check out his site if you uh, have another Nexus device. Um, I have showed you how to use his method for the Galaxy Nexus, so we're doing the same for the Nexus 4. So go to wugfresh.com slash nrt, I'll have a link for that below. Um, see here in the download section, nrt, right now it's version 1.6.1. .1. This is an exe file, just go ahead and click that to download. Uh, this, is, this is the one hosted on um, goo.im just 10 seconds to wait for the download. And then we can just go ahead and click on the download as soon as it's complete. All right, now that the download is complete, uh, if you're in Chrome, you can just go ahead and click it here. If you're using a different browser, just go to your downloads folder and run that exe file. Uh, as soon as you run it, just go ahead and click run. And make sure you note where it's going to install. I'm installing two program files. Go ahead and hit install and yes to allow permissions for that. And here we have the screen to select our model type. So I am on the Nexus 4, just like you will be, and I am on version 4.2. So Nexus 4 and 4.2.0 for me. Make sure you check what you are on to make, make sure you select the right one. Just go ahead and select that. And it says how to enable the USB debugging. We've already done that, so we can go ahead and hit OK. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to Full Driver Installation Guide right here. And go ahead and go to Step 2. And we're going to do Driver Solution Number 1 just by selecting PDA Net Drivers. And hit OK on this screen. Now, I've already uh, had these installed on my computer. That's what it says here, USB driver found. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit No. But if you haven't installed them yet, uh, Make sure you follow these steps. It'll go through each one right here. Not that difficult. It'll go step by step for you. Um, and you'll get your drivers installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, so we can go back. I'm going to hit cancel here. And we can go ahead and uh, plug in our phone when we're done installing drivers. So I'm going to do that now. And now the next thing we're going to do is unlock the boot bootloader. Uh, so this is going to wipe everything off your device. So if there's anything that you want, uh, pictures, anything, make sure you get that off the device first um, because it will wipe everything. So go ahead and hit unlock. And we can hit OK. It's just checking that it connect to the phone device connected and now it's going to reboot the device into the bootloader and here we are at this screen this is the bootloader and now it says 
uh, unlock bootloader. We're going to use the volume keys to select yes. So we can just hit volume up to go up to yes and then the power button to select that. And now you see it has the lock pad lock down here with the showing that it's unlocked. So now we're good on that. Uh, and it's rebooting the device now. You may experience a boot loop here. If you do, uh, I will post a link in the, uh, below that will show you how to uh, get that taken care of. Um, if you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, but if you do get a boot loop, it's nothing to worry about. Just follow the directions in the link. All right, now we're in the setup. We're just going to go ahead and skip through all of this so we can get in to the device. And finish. Now that we're in, we're gonna go ahead and turn USB debugging off since it's, uh, or sorry, turn it on since it's been turned off. Uh, in the process of wiping our device. So go ahead and scroll down, about phone, scroll down, tap on build number, and it says now you're a developer, go back, developer options, and turn on USB debugging. Okay. And now it's going to connect to the computer. We're going to go back to the computer. Um, the previous step is done, so we can go ahead and hit OK on this. And now we're going to go ahead and root the phone. So. I'm going to add a custom recovery to mine, so I'm just going to check this box right here that's going to give you the ability to flash ROMs. So make sure you check that. If you do want a custom recovery, you don't have to do it now if you don't want to, um, but make sure you check that if you uh, do. You can come back and do it again if you uh, don't do it now, um, but I'm going to do it right now. So check that. Go ahead and click the root button. It says I don't have a TWRP recovery, so it's going to download that. Just going to hit OK. And now it says downloading. That is complete. And now it's going to download SuperSU. Just going to hit OK on that, and it'll download that very quickly. Now it says you currently have no modified boot image. We're going to go ahead and click OK. You can download that. and hit OK on this screen right here. It's just reminding you that you need to be unlocked. It's checking that it can connect to the phone, and it can, and now it's going to reboot into the bootloader. Now it's just booting the uh, modified boot image. It's going to boot up our phone. Once it's booted, it's going to go ahead and push those root files that it just downloaded uh, to the device or rather not downloaded, but in the program it's going to push those root files. And then as soon as that's done, it's going to go back to the bootloader and uh, flash our new recovery and then boot into recovery. Getting ahead of myself, but that's coming up forward. Here we are on the bootloader. Now it's flashing that recovery, and as soon as, as soon as it's done with that, it's going to go ahead and boot into that recovery so that it can uh, root our phone. Here is that custom recovery. It's rooting our phone. And now it's going to reboot. And now we are all done with the program, so just go ahead and unlock your device. And we're going to go into the uh, app drawer right here. See, we have a few new apps, BusyBox and SuperSU. Go ahead and select SuperSU. It's just going to see, just going to see if it reminds us to update. And there are no, oh, no. Okay, cool. Uh, if it asks you to update, update your binaries, go ahead and allow that. We're going to go back, and we're going to go open BusyBox free. And it's going to ask for SuperSU permissions. Once it does that, we can grant it that. 
go ahead and hit grant and close out of this window we're going to hit install and install busybox and that was successful and go ahead and exit out of that and you are all done you have all your all of your root permissions ready to go um, if you want to install a custom recovery, you can do that, or uh, not a custom recovery, but a custom ROM, you can now do that with your custom recovery. Just go ahead and boot off your phone, and to boot into the recovery, just hold all the buttons at the same time, uh, and then you can get into the bootloader and boot from the recovery there. I'll show a video on that, so if you want to want to do that, no worries, I'll show you how to do that. show you all the custom ROMs that you can check out, um, but you are now rooted. Go ahead and check out all those cool root apps. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave those in the comments. Um, and yeah, uh, again, I'm Brent with thedroiddemos.com. Uh, let me know if you need anything, have any requests for this device, and I'll see you guys in the next video.